Welcome back to another uplifting interview with a total stranger. <laughs> I've got Edgar in the back, total and complete stranger. Guy is one of the top security guys at the StubHub Center, which has events, what, every week? Every day? Yeah, just about so. I mean, they're, they're, they're an icon in Los Angeles. It holds 27,000 people? Yes, sir. And uh, he knows every one of them, by the way. <laughs> so Edgar, Edgar's telling me about, it's not quite an uplifting story, it's more like a down grading story. <laughs> show me that picture again. Uh, there was a vendor, it does, we don't show his name, and he just missed a turn and practically ended up in the stands. Luckily there was no one there, right? Yeah, no, no, no. Nobody but, was there. And he almost ended up in the, in the, in the seats. You got the picture? Uh, I'm going to show it to you here. So, being head of security, he sees, he sees everything that's going on. Let's see here. Okay. So that's that's a funny story. It's, it may not be uplifting. Uh, I'm calling it downgrading. <laughs> so what else, Edgar? You, um, what's your goal in life? Um, yeah, you gotta, gotta have some. What do you want? You want to be a graphic designer? Yeah, that's my. So my what are you doing now. towards that? Are you doing any research? You go on YouTube. Um, check that shit yeah, out. Yeah, I've been checking out some things on YouTube and stuff like that. Just making up for schools that may be pretty big as far as graphic designing is concerned. So you feel you got some artistic flair in you? Uh, that I think I do. Yes, I do. You gotta, you gotta have. Uh, I was raised by beatniks, okay. so I'm, I've got an artistic flair. But I, I use that flair in in creating projects. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a serial entrepreneur. Right, go I, I, I can, every day I come up with. My wife says, "What's the plan for the day? <laughs> <laughs> What's the invention today?" Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, I, I come up with a, every every other day or every day. I come up with a, a new plan. I've had 79 different careers. 79. Wow. 78, 79. Depends what the day is. Uh, you know, it's, it's every actually day something new. Every day is. <laughs> my next one, I'm pretty sure it started a couple days ago. I had an epiphany. Uh -huh. I'm going to be a motivational speaker. Okay. Because on these interviews I've been doing, I've been given my advice. Because uh -huh. the young people need good advice. Yeah. A lot of them people don't know what they're doing, and they don't look at life like I do, which is a really great way to look at it. Because it's a great, great. It's a great game. You know, and, and people's taking it too serious. Uh -huh. You don't have to cheat or borrow or steal to win the game. Yeah, you yeah. just have to look at it in the right light, you know. Yeah. And I look at life in a really good light, and I want like, all the young people uh, to do that as well. And so that's why I think I should be a, a motivational speaker. And, uh, and I'll, I'll talk at the StubHub Center. I'll, I'll give a good speech, get the crowd, crowd fired up. <laughs> I can imagine talking in front of 27,000 people. Uh -huh. I don't know if I could do that, but... I think I can, you know. It's possible, yeah. It's possible. But what's the next event coming up at the stub? Well, right now, today we have graduations for Cal State Dominguez Hills, which oh. is the uh, university that's right behind us. Okay. Um, and the next big one should be Friday. Friday is going to be LA Galaxy versus San Jose Earthquakes. That's one of the big rival teams that they have. Okay, so you have a lot of soccer there. Yeah, soccer. We have a little bit of everything. Soccer, we got boxing events, concerts, rugby, graduations. Uh, we even have like, nah, I'm not allowed to disclose that. Okay, <laughs> don't, don't disclose that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, just, just about a little bit of everything. Oh. We also have like U.S. Uh, the U.S. national teams. Okay. Uh, the girls and the men's they both play there. As well. So who, who owns the Stub Hub Center? Uh, who is it? Uh, Anschutz, Philip Anschutz. Oh, can you introduce me to Phil? Now that, that's way out of my hand right there. I, I need to be Phil. <laughs> Phil and I will be able to be like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I haven't even. Actually, I, 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 I would, his hand and stuff like that. Actually, I want Phil to be, when you see when you shake his hand next, invite him to be on our show because <laughs> it, he, um, he would be a perfect uh, guest. Because uh -huh. he's got a favorite meal. He's got a favorite charity. Yeah. So imagine Phil cooking his favorite meal in his home uh -huh. for his friends uh -huh. to, in support of his favorite charity. He can talk about whatever he likes. Yeah. He can talk about whatever he likes. His stub up center or his does he own staples too or something? Yeah. His staples. staples he owns a few things. Stub Hub. Uh, he has that new stadium that they opened up in Las Vegas, the uh, T Mobile Arena. Oh wow. Yeah, the um, Barclay Center. Can you get his email for me? Uh, it's probably something like Phil at AES. Yeah, that I'll, I'll work on that. Work on that, because yeah. I'll send him an email and invite him. Here. Invite him to the um, show. So my son um, was a, a professional tennis player. 
Oh, is he? And uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's played some events here. Yeah, yeah. We have, yeah. A, we have a tennis court because we have the big tennis stadium that we have here. Right. He's that for boxing, actually. Uh, boxing? Yeah. But then yeah. we also have like some training courts, some tennis training courts. No, you used to have some uh, some events here. Yeah. Um, Some futures, I think it was. It might have been a challenger. Uh -huh. But uh, so he's played here and I've been here a few times. Sub up center. Very nice. Yes, sir. So you married with children? Nope. Single. Sing, single without children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't plan on having kids, so probably my mid, late 30s. How old are you? 28. 28. Yeah. Good, right page. Have you traveled much in your young years? Um, yes and no. Out of the I'm trying to do more out of the country stuff. You got to do out of the country stuff. Yeah, yeah. Before you get uh, nailed down with yes, the life, exactly. you know? Yeah, I've, I've, I've done, you know, inside the States, but nothing really out of the country. Get out of the town, buddy. Yep. You know, while you're young. Yes, sir. Live every day for the fullest. You don't know how much time you're going to have on the rock. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, so I'm trying to do maybe like a Japan, Thailand, China. Thailand? Uh, I know a very wealthy guy who could live anywhere in the world. He says Thailand is the best place on the planet. Oh, I bet. So he's, he's got a big yacht in the marina. Very seldom comes here, but loves Thailand. Anyway, we're here. Thank you for participating in the interview. Oh, thank you, We're going to stay in touch.